Hi guys and welcome to this video tutorial where I'll be showing you how to manage your media library. The media library allows you to upload and manage the audio files that you want to broadcast on your radio station. You can see that there are still a few tracks that we added during the startup phase. To delete them, simply click on the covers, then on the three dots at the top next to add to a playlist and then on delete permanently. Confirm and your titles will be deleted. You can now add your own files by clicking on the Add Tracks button. Select the songs you want to upload. You can minimize the download window while your tracks are importing and do something else in the radio manager while you wait. We're now going to take a look at the different trays in the media library. The first tray, which is the main one, is the music tray. As its name indicates, it's where you add your music. If you don't schedule anything to broadcast in your planning, the radio manager will randomly broadcast files from this tray as fillers to ensure that something is always playing on your radio. The identification tray is intended for short files such as your jingles, your hourly announcements or your sweepers for example. The recording tray allows you to stock your pre-recorded shows or your podcasts. The advert tray is for your adverts. The audio shout-out tray is where you'll find audio dedications sent by your listeners thanks to the widget available under the Share tab. Remember that this feature is only available for pro and business offers. The radio manager will only use content from your music tray as fillers on your radio station. This means that the content in your other trays will only broadcast if you schedule it to. Once your tracks are imported, you'll be able to classify them by alphabetical order or by upload date. This function is super useful when you want to add new top hits to your media library and delete any music that has already been broadcast several times. You can also filter your tracks according to several criteria thanks to the small funnel next to the search bar. So here, I want to see all the titles that last less than four minutes. I'm going to apply the filters and I'll see all the songs with this criterion appear. To remove the filters, just click on the funnel again and click on Reset Filters. You can edit your titles by hovering over your file and clicking on the pencil. For example, my title here isn't displayed correctly, so I'm going to rename it and change the artist. Once all your songs have been edited, you can tag them to find them even more easily, especially by style. To do so, simply select them and click on Tag Titles. Give a name to your tag, so I'm going to tag all my rock titles, and click on Add. You can also edit the tag by clicking on it. This will allow you to change its name or colour. Thanks to my tag titles, I can now create a playlist with all my rock songs. For this, I'm going to click on New Playlist and choose a name and a colour. I want my rock titles, so even those that I will tag in the future, to be automatically added, so I'm going to create an automatic playlist. As my criteria, I'm going to put all the songs with the rock tag. After saving, you'll see your automatic playlist create itself. For a more professional rendering, it's important to edit the mix points of your songs. This feature allows you to better manage the way your titles will follow one after the other. Simply click on the three dots next to your track and select Edit Mix Points. You can calculate your mix points automatically, but I'm going to show you how to do it manually just in case the automatic calculation doesn't suit what you want. Let's play the intro and see what it sounds like without any changes. Okay, the title starts a little too abruptly for my liking. I'm going to add a fade in so that the maximum volume comes in slowly, just as the singer starts his verse. Let's listen to the intro again. Much better. We're now going to set up the extra. 
Here's what it sounds like with no modifications. To create a nice transition, I'm going to add a fade out. To be sure that it goes well with the next track in alphabetical order, I'm going to test it with Boulevard of Broken Dreams. So that sounds good to me. Once you're happy with your mix points, click on Submit. And there you have it. You now know how to manage your media library. Any questions? Head over to our knowledge base for more tutorials. They are categorized according to the tabs of your radio manager. See you soon on Radio King.